uncertainty that the virus will face the condition and the express the analysis. Computer vision is one of the most revolutionary technology in computer science. For instance, it can help us to deliver sight to the blind by smart glasses. Alert us when a child is drowning in the swimming pool by security camera. And most importantly, help us to understand and manage the massive photos and videos that a person may take millions of years to view. So far, 50 years, start, starting from my postgraduate study at UPT and now become a professor. I have working with my mentors and students to teach computers to see, uh, just as we do, naming objects, identify people, understanding human emotions and behaviors. Currently, the ma mainstream methodology is to use the big data to train recognition model. For example, in 2009, Internet Project delivered a database of 15 million images across 22,000 classes of objects organized by everyday English words. Raised by Dr. Zhang and Dr. Guo, uh, Microsoft celebrated one million database that has over five million images of 100,000 uh, celebrities is the image net in the image facial recognition community. And uh, the whole research world benefit from, from this public available database. As it turned out, the wealth of information provided by massive data was a perfect match of a particular class of computational model called convolutional neural network, pioneered by uh, Kuni Shiku, Fukushima, and uh, Yang Le Kun and uh, Jeff Hinton back to the 1980s. A basic operating unit in the neural network is a neural like nodes. It takes input from others' nodes and sends output to others. Massive nodes are organized in the hierarchy layers. <coughs> Powered by the massive data and the modern CPUs and the GPUs to train such a humongous model, the convolutional neural network blossomed in a way that no one expected. The new architecture like AlexNet, VGGNet, GoogleNet, ResNet has pushed the number of convolutional layers from five to over 100 in just four years. It became the winning architecture to generate the exciting new results in object recognition as well as facial recognition. The accuracy of the well-known label face in the white benchmarks boosted from about 90% to 99.8% in just five years. We are conducting a survey to review such a dramatic development of deep facial recognition techniques. In the aspect of database development, network architectures with loss function and a specific solution to a realistic challenges, you can refer to our archive paper in detail, <coughs> and any comments and suggestions are welcome. Let me show you some examples that, that would detect the recognition accuracy of big CNN. The task is to judge whether two faces, facial images are from the same person or not. Now, uh, we can compete with the computer. Is these two images come from the same person? Do you think? If you, the same person raise your hand, if you can read. Yeah. Many people. Come from different. Uh, are these two images are from the same person? About half people, yes, but they are from different person. Are these two? Yes, sorry. The same, yeah. These two. Yeah, the same. This one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but the, the first four image uh, pair are from our similar looking LFW database. My student uh, Rob are Rob, but the BCN is a white. Yeah. So, why real world face recognition is so hard, you may ask. After all, a face is just a collection of regular shape and texture. For example, this is a face that seems easy to identify. How about this profile face or emotional face? What if it is drawn by the draw by the sketch? 
the ones which make up the occlusions or this one. Even a single person like movie star can present an infinitive number of evaluations to the face model. So the fundamental challenge of facial recognition comes from its data uncertainty. As the state of our performance of LW becoming perfect, in order to evaluate evidence with uh, large uncertainty for harder recognition scenario, we select a similar looking face for the negative pair and the brain real mistake uh, uh, variability of face aging and the hypothesis for the positive pair. Since the celebrity scale and the protocol are identical to the LW, we name them similar looking cross age, cross post, cross post uh, label face in the one. By seeing these face pairs that are much more difficult to verify, the accuracy of both human and the deep seeing and drop significantly. Two years ago, in the case of the uh, in the case of cross post verification, verification CNN's performance is still worse than human. Today, I checked the this year's CVPR paper. A method called ArcFace have boosted the accuracy to ninety two percent, surface human definitely. Fortunately, it is still difficult enough so that we have have about eight percent to publish our new method and the papers. An apparent way to address such large post is through normalization of operations. Can we normalize the face to a standard one that is much easier to be identified? In addition, both criminals are drawn by the sketch that are quite different from the photo. Can we transfer them to the photo so we can retrieve or identify this photo much uh, that are e easy to be matched. We have developed two normalized networks to do this task, which recover the standard face from a rise of input image. Here are some normalization results. You can see the transfer face of the same person. They are almost the same. And here, even the profile profile face can be well normalized, just like this one. We can normalize the profile face very uh, very well. Here are some sketch to photo transform examples. Experiments show that they are indeed helpful in our face retrieval experiments. Yeah. Moreover, we found that. Not only the recognition model can supervise the synthesis network for better image quality, and in turn, the generated image can be used to retrain the recognition model for better identity features. The synthesized model and the recognition mo network can mutually optimize, optimize by a closed loop. Both synthesis and the recognition performance can be improved simultaneously. Certainly, the most straightforward way to reduce uncertainty is to compress the scatter, class scatter in the feature space. So we propose uh, to add a positive term in the dominator of the softmax loss function that is equivalent to insert a virtual class. Insert a virtual class, one, two, three, four. Uh, virtual class to enlarge the interclass margin. For machine learning, we also demonstrate that demonstrated that a simply normalized uh, norm of the anchor samples can improve the separability of the feature embedding. Besides the natural variability of the object appearance, a more serious problem is caused by a kind of man-made uh, variations known as adversary noise. Adding a small noise that is so small so that human cannot perceive, can mislead, mislead or even control the output of the class file. This uncertainty may cause security problem in face recognition. More seriously, seriously, it may harm the safety of our <coughs> Many serious accidents or auto-driving cars may possibly be caused by this uncertain noise that destroy the whole deep learning system. 
to uh, evaluate this problem, we integrate so the so-called adversary sample into the large margin natural learning and pose a new framework to address the adversary attack. By active mining the potential noise point and the setting as an anchor point for triple loss, triple loss training that pull their in-class training sample and push the out-class samples, we effectively learn the feature space that's so smooth that adversary sample cannot take effect anymore. Also, this method can enlarge the large margin between classes, but more important, the margin is particularly effective to avoid adversary attack. In many facial recognition tasks, it's difficult to collect enough training image to model the uncertainty of faces that, that nursery the deep neural network. So, instead of focus on solely on the learning on, from big data, my insight was to give the algorithm the ability to learn from low shot, long tail, zero shot, and the bias training data set. Certainly, the most straightforward way to address this difficulty is integrate the prior knowledge, like the three-digit uh, shape prior of the face. Generate the virtual samples to enlarge the training, uh, training set. We have conducted two work of four face and the auto recognition separately. Why this idea is using a 3D model? Since obviously, we conduct additional machine learning to ensure the classifier can take full use, uh, full advantage of the virtual samples. Large data sets are naturally follow the long tail distribution. We try to divide the long tail data into two parts. One is the head part that contains enough sample to learn the intra-class vari variations. The tail part that contains sufficient number of classes to model the inter-class variability. By taking advantage of both parts of the data, the network can learn more stable features by long tail training data. When the data is imbalanced across groups of people, it may cause serious ethical problem like facial bias. American news report that the mismatch rate of the black people is about two times that of, uh, of, that of the white people. MIT Technology Review even said its facial recognition accurate depend on your race. Is it true to study this important issue this year? We construct the first dedicated face data set to evaluate the facial bias in facial recognition. We evaluate the performance of four state-of-the-art deep learning methods, center locks, uh, sphere phase, arc phase, and the VTG phase two. And the four major commercial APIs from Face++, Baidu, Amazon, and Microsoft. The, summar the summarized result clearly indicate the problem of facial recognition. The face uh, of white people can have much higher accuracy than the, color, uh, the people of color schemes. How to remove the bias become an urgent problem? Transfer learning is widely considered one of the promising solutions. We developed a new method that bridges the gap between the feature distribution of different races and the mutual information criteria to in enlarge the interclassic margin of the color skin phase. Results indicate the effectiveness to reduce the racial bias. What caused this bias performance, you may ask? A major driver of bias in facial recognition, as well as other AI tasks, is the training data. In face recognition community, deep neural networks are often trained on the web face MS VGG face dataset. They are typically constructed by a scrapping website like Google Image. Such math can intentionally produce data that encode the ethnic or gender bias. For instance, Eastern Asia and India together contribute le less than 10 percent, less than 10 percent of the training data. Even though these countries present near half of the world population. Although all these data are collected randomly, 
bios in data actually reflect the hidden imbalance in the infrastructure like internet or social network. Thus, social awareness must be brought to build it to the building of the data set for training. We should take steps to ensure such data sets are diverse and do not underrepresent particular groups. Specifically, we collect a new image data set that according to the population ratio of the ability in the world. Further, we construct a training set that is strictly balanced the ability. We encourage researchers to retrain and fight on existing evidence using this data set for reduced racial bias. Another source of bias may trace to the evidence themselves. Current methods tend to optimize for the race that have appeared more frequently because the, this boosts the accuracy of the text data set with the same bias. We train an intelligent agent by reinforcement learning to trade off the specific requirement of the margin of different groups of classes. By tuning the margin adaptively, the agent successfully, successfully balanced the rewards of large interclass uh, distance and the small interclass distance, and uh, produced more equitable recognition performance across different groups of people. We are working to address racial bias using this strategy. Comparing with recognized uh, identical face, it's more difficult to recognize the facial expression. Dif different people may evolve to different expressions to express a certain emotion. As a result, if we train a, uh, a classifier in one database and test it on others, the performance will drop significantly. To take a deep, deeper look on this bias, we conduct an interesting experiment on classifier data set rather than classifier expression. This is the common experiment to classify the experiment, uh, the expression, but we do the experiment on conduct, uh, classify the data set. Surprisingly, the result accuracy is even as high as expression recognition. Given the bias between training and, uh, the training and the targeting expre expression, the real world expression recognition may fail. We figure out an emotional conditional adaptation network to address this problem by aligning the exp uh, expression conditional feature dis distribution and balance the importance of diff different expressions. Since the understanding emotion is mainly subjective, how to accurately label the facial expression is still an open problem. Let me show you show you some example in our expression image database. Which expression label do you select? Uh, surprise, fear, disgust, happiness, sad, and anger. Surprise, fear, disgust. About 48% of people select the surprise, and 41% of people select anger. So they are different. Different people uh, give the different results. So we call this uh, expression the compound emotion. How about this one? Thirty-seven percent people select fear. Thirty-four percent people select surprise, and twenty-eight percent people select anger. So we call this in, uh, expression multi uh, blend, blend expression. To study this open problem, we resort to do the social network website like Flickr, and download about thirty thousand candidate images. We build a crowdsourcing website to help us to label these images. And more than 300 people help us to clean, sort, and label such expressive images. Finally, we obtained 1.2 million labels and released two databases. 
Each image uh, uh, had been labeled independently by 40 people. Each people select a single basic expression so that we can estimate the label distribution of the emotion. This is the unprecedented quality of facial expression labeling. Thanks to our unique emotion labels, RockDB and RockML that contain seven basic expressions, 12 compound expressions, and a multi 30 vertebral blended expression has become one of the most major benchmark databases in the field of expression recognition. Hundreds of research teams use it to train and test their algorithm. Here are some blended emotions or branded expressions. In order to make the computer perceive the emotion accurately, our method aligns the expression manifold that characteristic characterize the distribution or in the label vector space. Because the uh, label is the is the a vector of the probability. So we can uh, construct the expression manifold. Align the expression manifold with the feature manifold that characterizes the distribution of the divisions. In this manner, the network output not only recognizes the emotion accurately and at the same time perceives the continuous change of face facial emotion and provides an accurate estimate of the density of each emotion. Due to the time limit, I cannot introduce more on this topic if you are interested in how deep learning improved expression recognition since uh, 2013 you can refer to our survey paper on our archive in summary in order to address data uncertainty and bias our recent work have improved the robust adaptiveness and the generalization ability of the visual feature from this CNN and achieved the excellent performance on many benchmark database on face recognition and object recognition. We only took a small step towards visual intelligence by reduced uncertainty and bias. And uh, it must be a long journey to our goal. When machine can see, security camera will protect the safety of our life and the property. Cars will run smarter and safer on the road. Doctor will have tireless eyes to drive along patients. Little by little, we are giving sight to the machine. We will not only use the machine for their intelligence, and we will also collaborate with 